Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use the behavior action called group execute a sequence of action. So the use of this action is if you have multiple actions that you wanted to trigger in in one time. So let's say in this scenario that I have, I have table 1, table 2, table 3, and I have the home table. So what I want is whenever, let's say I am updating or I am adding a new data in table number 3, the corresponding status, let's say the room number 1004, I wanted to change the, the status into vacant or into occupied. Same goes to table number 2. I wanted as well to change the status. And then once the user saved this, I want them to go to this view. So there are three actions involved here. So this is the use of group actions, wherein you can trigger all those three actions in one time. So now, since we wanted to update the table 1 status, we have first to create a reference row. I mean, a reference action. So to do that, since we are updating table 1, then we have to select table 1. Then I'm going to just select set the value columns of this row. So I'm going to choose the status. So I wanted to update the status. Since I wanted to update the status and I'm using the table number 3 yeah, on table number 3 of updating this table number 1 so then I will use select expression here select table 3 so I'm gonna select the status then okay then the ID is equals to maths row and what's the max row? Table is table 3 and the maximum row number. And what is the filter condition of max row? So room number or rather I can put here this row that room number is equals to room number all right it should be correct okay select table number three status id is equals to max row table number three row number this row that row number is equals to row num room number all right should be all good then i'm gonna just uh, hide this action so this is to update the table one, yeah? So did not display. Then let's go to table number two. But I'm gonna name this table one status. Okay. Then let's proceed to table number two. I want to update as well the status. So I will just copy this. And I'm gonna just change this to table two. And change the table two. And that's all. Alright, since we are updating this in table number 3 or we are triggering in table number 3, in order to update the status of table 1 and table 2, we need to create an action called execute an action on a set of rows, wherein I already discussed this in my last video. So to trigger this action, we are triggering this in table number 3. So I'm going to just trigger this as a trigger table 1. So what is execute an action? What is the reference table? Is table number one. What is the reference action? Table one status update. Then what is the reference row? Since the key column in table number one is room number, so I'm gonna just use select expression here, select table one. Table one, then what is the key column? Room number. Then comma. This row. That room number. 
is equals to room number. So this is how to, this is the reference uh, row actions. All right, all good. Then I will just do not display. Then this is for table one. Then let's proceed for table two. I will just copy this action. Then I'm gonna just name this table two and then change this to table two and that's it and status table two all right and do not display all right then since i wanted the user once they hit save i want the user to go in this view so i'm going to create one action and let me go to the home view so the home view is this one i'm gonna just copy this link to view i'm gonna create an one action and the action code is go to another view within this app i'm gonna name this go to home view okay then what is the target i'm gonna just paste it that i copy it but i'm gonna trigger this in table number three and then behavior appearance i mean do not display all right since we already created a three actions in the table number three so these are the actions that we created in table number three so go to home view trigger trigger table one trigger table two then we have to combine these three actions in order to execute the same time all of these changes in the app so this time we're gonna create an action this is now we use the group execute sequence of action so I'm gonna just name this group trigger so for the record this table which table are you going to trigger this action so since we are triggering this in table number three then change it to table number three then what are those actions so we created an action so first update the status in table number one then update the status in table number two then go to the home view which is this one appearance do not display and there are two ways to trigger this it's either by automation or by form save in this example i'm gonna just trigger this in the form save so i'm gonna look for table number three form and then here behavior here we have group trigger and then hit save all right so now we're gonna try if this group actions updates accordingly or it's working so as you can see let's say table 1001 it's vacant in, in table one i mean room number 001 1001 is vacant and also same goes to table two it's also vacant all right i'm gonna add a let's say i'm gonna put this occupied then 1001 let's say check in today and then i'm gonna hit save then as you can see it directs me to this view and at the same time it changed the status to occupied and also occupied in table number two if i will do some changes let's say i'm gonna return that to vacant it directs me to this view which is the home view then i go to table one it's update accordingly the 1001 and then 1001 as well is updated when i added a new value i mean a new data again it's a vacant with the same flat then it should once i save this it goes directly to the home view and then updates the status of the another table and the same time the another table as well so this is how to use the group actions if you have multiple actions that you wanted to trigger in the same time so you can use this uh, this uh, group execute a sequence of actions so if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video